What's going on guys? It's Dylan and I'm back again with another review. Now today I'm going to do a TV uh, series review on one episode and it's November 12th so you know what today is. If you're any type of Marvel, Star Wars, Disney fan, it is the launch of Disney Plus, the uh, new uh, movie and TV show app for Disney. Um, man, I've been highly anticipated for this uh you know just this app period it's a huge game changer um we're gonna have marvel tv shows that are in continuity with the mcu we're gonna have star wars shows that are in continuity with you know the original trilogy just the whole you know star wars trilogy period or, or series not trilogy because there's a couple trilogies now but um Man, I was just so amped when I woke up, and um, you know, uh, little problems with the app off top. Um, that's kind of to be expected. They definitely should have been more ready, but they said they had a lot more people sign up than they expected. Um, I don't know how they uh, didn't ex didn't know that that was coming because this is Disney. They're like, you know what I'm saying? They're the biggest uh, company, I'd say, movie company, productions company, like, period. Since they bought Fox, they're about, like, this app is really a game changer. And, you know, they there's going to be a lot coming on this app. And, like, this is going to be a full-on Netflix-type app. You know what I'm saying? If not, it'll go past it. I mean, with the content, like, right now, it might not seem there's a bunch, a bunch of new content. But, you know, they're gradually going to keep adding more and more and more. And this app is going to be loaded. And I just cannot wait. But let's get into The Mandalorian. Um, we got this being written by Jon Favreau, produced by Jon Favreau. Um, it was directed by a different man, though. Um, Dave, Dave something. Oh, that's going to kill me. But uh, I hope Jon Favreau is, like, writing all of these ish or all of these episodes because, in my opinion... Disney did the greatest thing by letting Jon Favreau touch a Star Wars series. They need to get him for the damn trilogies, um, if anything, because in my eyes, this is what it would happen. Disney was like, dude, this guy, this is one of the guys that, you know, helped build the MCU to what it is. Jon Favreau is that man. Um, you know, obviously there was a lot of people that helped it grow to what it is, but this is the man that took money out of his pocket to uh you know cover robert downey jr's insurance because nobody else in the business would because he was too much of a liability this is the man that gave us iron man and dude if uh if i didn't love him for that which i i loved john favreau before that you know with uh swinger i think swingers with uh vince vaughn man he's done so much that i love him even before iron man but uh dude like him doing that, I got that dude back any day. And I guarantee anyone in the business has his back because they're like, dude, this guy is a cash cow. He's the he's the rabbit's foot. Jon Favreau is the rabbit's foot to fucking the MCU, man. And he's, you know what? He's the rabbit's foot to Star Wars because in my opinion, if it keeps going like this, they, get, they have brought Star Wars back, man. And this is taking place after... You know the original trilogy this is taking place after the skywalker or luke skywalker trilogy um so you know all of the phantom menace attack of the clones revenge of the sith um a new hope empire strikes back return of the jedi boom now we're at the mandalorian and you know so you know that the empire has fallen so the galaxy is kind of out of sorts and in ruins um and uh man it was just so much fun like it really kind of got into that uh nitty gritty feel of uh star wars kind of like you know all the you know he walks into a one place to uh leave his bounties and pick up his reward and the place just looks like java's hut you know what i mean so um i really had fun with that even salacious crumb was in this um i thought the funniest thing i didn't pick this up until i watched it the second time so the first bounty, though, that uh, the Mandalorian scoops up, he makes a funny reference to Life Day and that uh, he was hoping to make it back to his family in time for Life Day, but it doesn't look like now that he'll be making it. And uh, it's just so funny. Um, it's a great scene uh, right after. But uh, the, on his first bounty that he goes out to get, like right in the beginning, he goes and captures this guy. And 
Um, dude, like the uh, the visuals on this, like off top, were so incredible. Um, it's like kind of a wintery feel. Like th this guy must have kind of tried to go far from the galaxy. And as they get picked up, like he, he easily gets in. The guy goes in. He's like, I can bring you in cold or warm. And uh, the guy, uh, you know, he's kind of, you can tell he's like, I'm not trying to die. Well, and then he goes and takes them back. And they're on this crazy, like, uh, it's, it's like ice. And um, they get, like, picked up. And um, he, uh, what is it? Oh, he's like, be careful on the ice because there's there's monsters under the ice. And as they drop um, the Mandalorian and his, uh, you know, his uh, bounty off to the Mandalorian ship, uh, as the guy that's like drop dropped him off, you see the uh, hostage or the bounty looking, and then boom, he just gets snapped up by a monster, and like the ice crushes, and he's just like, holy shit, we gotta go, we gotta go, and the monster pulls up on them. And man, dude, it was oh, it was just like an incredible way to just get right in on this story, and I really enjoyed it. Um, if you think that he wasn't gonna talk much, that's not a that's not an issue. He uh, you know he talks just fine. Um, he only speaks when needed. He's very conservative, and he um, he doesn't just you know he ain't just running his mouth about everything. But I highly recommend this, man. If you are any type of Star Wars fan, this was just so much fun. I cannot wait to see what, uh, you know, comes next. I actually heard on Second Street Marvel, um, Trinity said that there's going to be another episode two is already coming Friday. So, wow, I am so excited. Um, I, I This was the one I knew deep down. I was like, you know, uh, I'm excited for, uh, you know, the next Star Wars movie. But I was like, something though about that man, the Mandalorian is calling to me. And I knew it was going to be amazing. And it was, man. It did not, even with all the hype in my head, it didn't, um, you know, sometimes when I, you know, I get so hyped up about something and it just totally lets it down. But this didn't, man. And I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. The visuals were incredible. Jon Favreau did an amazing job producing writing this um dave filoni directed this first episode it looks like bryce dallas howard is uh directing one of these taika waititi is the voice of ig11 um this was just this was so much fun i highly recommend it you know i think i'm gonna probably maybe do a full spoiler review but dude this was just so much fun um yeah definitely if you're a star wars fan big one this is definitely a must see. Um, you know, for if you're not as big of a Star Wars fan and you're really still on the fence, you know, after The Last Jedi, I think they've redeemed themselves and they deserve the chance. I mean, you know, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comments. Uh, if you guys could hit that like button on your way out, hit the subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.